to my channel. My name is Sarah Michelle and this is Wagstaff and I'm so happy you're here. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a Valentine's Day extravaganza. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of things. It'll be a little mix of vlogging and a little bit of DIY instruction. Every Valentine's Day I usually held a party. I love hosting, so I loved inviting my friends over, making a bunch of cute desserts, pink theme. I really wanted to take the time this year to celebrate myself in Valentine's Day style, especially with quarantine. Obviously, parties are out of the question, so I think this is the perfect year to really try and have some fun with it. Today, my plan is going to be something I've been really inspired by and that I've seen a lot on TikTok, actually, are these letter-shaped boxes with all these cute uh, chocolate covered strawberries. I'll insert a picture of what like I was kind of thinking. I also had the idea that I could make the letter box out of cereal boxes. I consume a lot of cereal. Sometimes I like to repurpose and I thought this would be a really fun craft and something doable. And we're gonna dip the strawberry. Of course, Wagstaff has to have his own little treat. I wanna get that out for the first part of the day. And then I had this other inspiration that I've seen a lot on TikTok and Pinterest. Like a heart tank top, I went out and I thrifted one. And then I wanted to wrap up the day by making myself my favorite meal, some pizza. Now that we know the plan, let's so we've go. We've got all of our supplies to start making our chocolate covered strawberries. There's some normal chocolate that I'm gonna use, some white chocolate that I might try and color. Strawberries in my strawberry colander. If you follow me on TikTok, if you don't, you should. It's one of my favorite finds at the Goodwill bins. Now that I have strawberries in my strawberry colander, I'm excited. Other stuff that we can decorate with sprinkles. Let's get started. Here I am just cutting up some skewers. I wanted to put them in the strawberries. I thought this would help hold them while I dip them. It didn't really help because I cut them and then they weren't really sharp on each side. But you know, you can do what you want here. Then I just scooch them around so that I could make room for when I dip them. Do you love my mini heart whisk or what? It's another thrift find and quick dance break while I'm waiting for the chocolate to melt in the microwave. Make sure to lower the power so you don't burn anything. Melt it more than this. And now we're gonna go ahead and start dipping the strawberries. So I have to say, driver's license is a, is an absolute like, I mean, it's an absolute like, I can give myself a like, number like, absolutely throw me into an emotional outrage. Like, it's pretty emotional, like, it's like a soft tube. Cry right up to, and so many different ways. Oh yeah. So I was a bit conservative on how much chocolate I melted, but if you melt more, it would definitely be easier to dip them. Okay, so I went ahead and I just finished up and here they are. Even the mess looks kind of cute. And here it is. All the strawberries, what I ended up doing. Now we're moving on to making treats for Wagstaff. So I just took some yogurt and some frozen berries and I'm gonna blend it up here. And then I spread it out on the parchment paper and popped it in the freezer. Now we need to start making our letter box. I only needed two cereal boxes and I cut them up front and back and then I also used the sides. I'm shaping out my letter S. I'm not the best at bubble letters, but you know, I went for it. And then here I am cutting it out. I love my rotary cutter. It made this project very easy. Plain old scissors would do the trick too though. And here I am taking the sides of the cereal boxes and following the shape of my letter to just tape them along. I would have used masking tape if I had it, but I only had scotch tape. And then I gave it a hot glue gun just to seal everything. Quick kiss break with Waggy. So I took Wags for a walk and it's getting to be about dinner time now. So I wanted to start making my pizza. This is why you should clean up. Guess we gotta do a DIY. I put all the other ingredients in and now I'm gonna pop it into my bread machine. The dough is setting and I'm gonna hit start. So the dough has had some time to rise, but my oven is still preheating. I wanted to do something a little fun with pepperoni. Because it's Valentine's Day, I thought we could make toppings also heart cheap. So this is just a fun little way to be extra, celebrate yourself because it's cute. Who else is gonna do this for you? My makeshift hammer because these are plastic, they're not really sharp. So they're not, I don't think they're meant for cutting meat. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, if you're not vegan or vegetarian, this is so cute. Meat emoji. A meat emoji, okay. 
apart, so I'm just gonna scoop out the dough. Come on out, buddy. Don't be shy. I'm gonna, I need to get it for this, I'll admit. I need like a, but that looks like a heart. Voila, she is finished. Bon appetit. Feels wrong cutting it. Ah! But I'm so hungry. After I finished eating my pizza, I just spent the rest of the night painting my letterbox. I gave it a white coat and then I gave it a pink coat to match my sweatshirt. You know, no. Um, I actually wanted it to be pink, but you know, I just spent the rest of the night doing this and watching Degrassi. And I know I said I would get everything done in one day, but here I am. I look so tired because I was, and you don't need to rush yourself because look, this came out great. Okay, so I wanted to try the tank top on just to figure out where I wanted the heart. And I'm actually really happy that this is a kid's tank top because it comes up a little higher as opposed to being scooped down. So I'm gonna mark, I guess, where I want this. I'm gonna make this heart a little bit bigger than the heart I just cut out. So that way there's a little bit of room. You know, be some skin shot. Okay, so do not do what I'm doing here and make sure you separate the front and the back of the tank top or else you will end up with what I have, which is a heart in both the front and the back, but that's okay. I thought it would actually be kind of cute to have an extra cutout. And then you'll just take safety pins and you'll start placing them where you think it works, where you think it'll tug on the heart in the right way. Pun unintentionally intended. All right, here she is. Do you love her or what? Because I love her. I absolutely think it's so cute. I had to trust the process a little bit because I wasn't, I don't know, I wasn't sure if it was gonna lay weird or if there was like a trick to it, but really guys, it's it's simple. Cut your heart, cut a little bit bigger out of the t-shirt, pin away, and then when I put it on, I actually put it on and I kind of readjusted the pins where I felt like it needed it and ah, she's so cute! I wish I lived somewhere warm so I could just wear this. This is like a very like, Sarah Michelle outfit, um, comfy, casual sneakers, a tank top, surprise, surprise, we got a little. Yeah, so that's there, but that's okay. And I actually think it's cute. Yeah, it's so cute, I hope you guys love it. I wanted to go ahead and make some extra filling for my letter shaped box. I just went ahead and I folded this up and then I squish it down. And you got these little accordion things, and I think these are perfect. It's gonna help make it look a little more expensive and fancy, so. And now it's time to finish up our letter box. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it a little bit, so that way the strawberries sit up a little higher. Um, I actually filled it a little too high, but that's okay. And then you're gonna place these accordion things. I have no idea what they're actually called, but I thought it did help make this look a little cute and a little more expensive. And then I took a couple of flowers off of the bouquet that I bought myself earlier in the day. And I placed the cupcake liners, which is when I started to realize that I might have filled it a little too high. Placing the strawberries in helped weigh it down a little bit. And have some fun with this part, you know, pick which colors you like, which ones you want in there. And then place your flowers. And here she is. happy with how it came so it's something that I would want someone else to get for me but I have made it for myself and I love it even more you really don't have to be perfect at dipping strawberries to do it you don't have to make it perfect when you're making the letter but something about taking the time for myself to do this as well the outfit is also thrifted I would just like to point that out this is a super cute um, J Crew sweater by the reimagined label I would really love to hear how you guys love to treat yourself and what's your favorite way to celebrate yourself Thanks so much for joining. I hope you guys had fun and maybe learned something along the way. Let me know if you have any thoughts, questions, recommendations in the comments, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.